So this is me when I was about four or five years old painting. I'm the one on the right. This is me now with my dog Alfie. This is also me. That's not my house. That's a mansion in the park. And I've walked in this park every day, twice a day for about 12 years. I kind of wish it was more like Runyon Canyon. This is Runyon Canyon in LA. There's just more creativity. Every day you see something different. And London is cold right now. And it is cold. Really cold. Cold. Kids are, are choosing skate parks over um, traditional playgrounds, which have just become so safe that they're now just boring and no one wants to use them. When I was a kid growing up, um, I don't know if any of you remember the witch's hat and these huge seesaws. The kids used to pile on on one end and the poor kid on the other end used to go flying up in the air. And I remember that thinking I'm going to come off, but never did. And it was just the thrill of feeling like you're going to die. <laughs> and those huge steel slides it used to fly off the end. And then when that wasn't exciting enough, you'd go up it the other, you know, the wrong way up, climb up it. <laughs> um, and they all got banned. Monkey bars got banned. Yeah, they took away that, um, you know, just the gravel base that, you know, many a kid skinned their knee on. God, how many times I skinned my knees as a kid. <laughs> so painful. Um, but then they replaced it with that soft, squidgy kind of like fake tarmac stuff, um, which I get, I, like, I get that it's safer to fall on. Uh, but it was also the thing that stopped you, like when you were flying off the end of a swing, deliberately, <laughs> it was what gripped your feet at the other end so you could land. And now you can't do that because like, as you saw today, the, that slippery, soft, fake tarmac is, is too slippery to do anything. You can't, you can't push off it, you can't land on it. And I just wonder where's the excitement for kids today? Where's the danger? So we've got these rusty old joins at the top, which stop it from being able to swing 360 degrees, even if you wanted to. What does it do? I mean, it barely moves. I suppose it's good for tiny ones, but what is there for the big kids? Am I a bit mad? <laughs> it's just what I think about you know, the things that shaped me as a kid. And there was that need to do things that scared me and pushed my limits. You know, that's realizing that you can conquer your fears and push your boundaries and that you remain in control, even though you feel like inside, like you're gonna die, <laughs> but then you don't. And, and, and you gain something from that as a kid. What does this do? It's like a mini seesaw, but that's it. That's lame. What is this? So you stand on here and it just goes round. I mean, it doesn't surprise me at all that skateboarding, BMXing and the use of skate parks in general is making a huge comeback in the last couple of years. I think kids are seeking out more risk. And I think about people like Matt Hoffman, who, um, for those of you who don't know, is like a world-class BMX rider, and he went on to create the Mega Ramp, which, just Google it, you'll have a look at it, it's huge. And I wonder what kids from today's generation are going to aspire to. Are they going to want that thrill? When everybody else went to university, I went snowboarding for like two years. <laughs> um, I did go to university in the end, but... Yeah, I spent two years snowboarding because I just wasn't ready to sit in a classroom and write for three years. And I just, I, I, you know, I needed that. I needed that buzz. I need to feel like my life is right on the knife edge. And with snowboarding, if you push yourself to the limits, like you did when you were a kid on that witch's hat, on that huge slide, <laughs> that's the same feeling you get as an adult. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Let me know your thoughts. Does boring kill you? Boring kills me. <laughs>
BMXing at the BMX track in the Olympic Park. 